Hey everybody, welcome back to Planet Zoo. So, how would you guys feel if I just continued the zoo in pause mode? Oh, just looking at everything, it's nice and calm, the music's playing, we don't have to worry about protesters or animals getting angry or breeding too much or breaking out or staff being stupid, it's just... We'll just do the rest of the series in pause mode and not have to worry about anything. Like... Research being complete, or over... There was just something saying that the habitat was stinky and that I was going to get diseases. And apparently that doesn't exist anymore. I'm saying hello to these people that I'm pretty sure I've said hello before, too. I love how, uh... Parse error in guest name is still a thing. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see, what was I even doing? I think we needed to find something to do, because... We finished the, uh... Crocodile exhibit. The dino dino dials. Look at that shark. Just kidding. It has scales. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. So I don't know what to do now. Comments said, hey, get endangered animals, which I'm pretty sure these things are endangered. But the more endangered animals I have, the better your zoo will be, and everyone will love you for it. The problem with endangered animals is they're typically more money on the market, and as you can tell, I don't have a lot of leaf points. Yeah, completing community challenges. It's really hard to comp Oh my god, there's so many animals in this exhibit. It's hard to complete community shut up phone challenges when the only time I play this game is when I sh uh, record these videos. So, what do we have here for community challenges? Zoo challenges, education, uh, antelope education. Honestly, who the hell cares about that? Oh look, we released... Two different habits. Okay, that's only money. I don't want money. I don't need money. I'm almost a millionaire in this place. Ruffle some feathers. Greater flamingos. I Well, we have zero minutes left, so guess what? We lost. And you know what we would have gotten? 25. 25 conservation credits if we released one. Shorts if we released two. Uh, 50 if we released three. So we're at 75 right now. And then another 50 if we released 5. So 125 credits if we released as many as we needed to. Which isn't a lot. <laughs> gonna be gonna be honest with you. 125 credits don't go that far in the uh, animal trading. Let's see what animals. We do have some animals in storage. Some bears, which they don't really matter, do they? Let's see. They're vulnerable. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be fine. Let's find some endangered ones. Aardvarks, no one cares about. Buffalo, they're near threatened, but we can never find a male. Ooh. African wild dogs are endangered. The way I said that... <laughs> Ooh. I'm not excited that these animals are endangered in real life. I'm kind of excited that they're endangered in the game, though, because that means, you know, they're worth more if I get them in my zoo. It's weird, but that's the way it is. Uh, we have those things. We need something that's critically endangered. Like, guess what? There's only two of these left. So get them in your zoo. Oh, orangutans. Ah, or better yet, if we can get something that's like, extinct, do you know how popular our zoo would be? Oh, man. That would be amazing. Let's get some dinosaurs. Pangolins. So orangutans, pangolins. Look at that snake. Yeah, we know these things aren't freaking endangered at all. These things are probably like the antelopes and they just bang nonstop. Yeah, these guys are critically endangered. Cool. Is that a dung beetle? Giant burrowing cockroach. It looks like a dung beetle. I love how all the data is uh, deficient. Data deficient. Shouldn't it be inefficient? I guess probably both of them work. No one cares about bugs. There's too many bugs in the wild. So they're, it's probably they're not near extinction at all because there's so many of them. Let's see. Goliath. I want dung beetles. Goliath bird eater. I was wondering if this was in the game. Flamingos. Guana grizzly bear. Himalayan brown bear. Ipapatamus. Another elephant. Rhinos, one of dragons. Poison. Ooh. Ooh. Do you are you an exhibit animal or are you actually uh an animal animal? 
I don't actually know what these things. I can see them being in that tiny box, or I can see them being in an actual exhibit. Iguanas. We gotta look for iguana. Because I know the Nile Monitor is in an exhibit. Let's see. Puff Adder. Who came up with that name? It's a Puff Adder. Adder is a type of snake. If you couldn't tell, because there's a snake there. Puff. Red Pandas. Red Fruffed Lemur. Alright, we gotta look through these. Hyenas, blah, 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 blah. So what was I going to get? Iguana? Lions? Let's look at lions as well. And maybe some monkeys. Cause wow, a lot of these monkeys are critically endangered. Gorillas. Chimpanzees. Lions. Iguanas. Those are the those are the money makers. We're running a business here. Not because we care. Well, we do care. But not about the animals. About profits. <laughs> Where's the trading? There it is. The market. Search. I know gorillas are down here. Chimpanzees. Uh, I know the... R wasn't ring-tailed lemur, was it? No, it was the red ruffled primate or whatever. Red ruffed a lemur, so it was a lemur. I know they are also rare. Something something iguana. I forget all the names that was in front of it. That's what I should remember, the first freaking word. Because, uh, we're not going to find it. <laughs> also, where's the line? West African line. All right. We got a bunch of them in there. I really want that iguana, though. Out of all these animals, I think I want the iguana the most. I know it's somewhere around here. I wonder how many times my mouse has been over it. Oh, it's probably an exhibit animal if it's not in here. I can't find it. Okay. Filter. See, look at these prices. Oh, hold on. The gorillas are pretty cheap. Let's just do that real quick. Hit the refresh button. And then we're going to sort by price. Okay, cool. There's a lot of cheap, cheap, cheap things here. 300 for this. What are your stats? They're probably awful. You're 6.8 years old. Of course, I have to click it 500 times. It's not, not going. Ugh. Yikes. What about you? 8, 17, 50, 60. I can lay down a sick beat trying to get this thing to freaking... There we go. 50, 25, 20, 30. That one's better. I think I'd be willing to pay 70 extra leaf points for that. Um, but then we would need a male. See, I'm rolling the dice here, because I want to make sure we can get a male before we get a female. There's a male, 750. Ooh. Albino male. Look at that number. That's insane. So I think if we do get one of these animals, maybe we can get some red rough lemurs for cheap. I'm adopting it. I don't care. Those are really good stats. Donkey Kong is the one who listed it. Let's go. How many times do I have to press the adopt? No, it's going to happen. It's going to say, no, nope, not available anymore. <sighs> Why? Come on. I, I, mm, <laughs> I want this animal. <laughs> Thank you. Dear God. Dear God. Let's get one of those females. Is that one female gone? You know what? Don't you, was it you? Were you the crappy one? I have to click it again. <laughs> no. No, it's going to take 200 years. No. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm buying it. Actually, I like the fertility gene on that one. Size is small, but that fertility gene is really good. Wow. I only had to click the adopt button once. Shocker. There's a lot of male lemurs. I don't see any female lemurs. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I roll those dice like I did with the stupid... What? Actually, that's not that bad. You're adopted. 9.5 years old, though. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad that button didn't work right there. 2.9 years old. Alright, we'll adopt this one. All the stats are great except fertility. There we go. Wonderland. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is it just because the servers are complete and utter butthole? Is that why you have to press the button 200 times? Is that it? Let's see if we can get a female. <laughs> I swear, most of this video has been freaking dealing with this crap. There's a female at eight years old. No, you. You're gold, 98. I only have to click it 200 times. I'm doing it with time with the music. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Fine. Lemur land. <laughs> what do you think they specialize in? <laughs> do you think it's lemurs? No, nah, I'm thinking it's uh, low lane gorillas. Possibly spiders. <laughs> okay. After 200 years of waiting for these stupid menus, we finally got some lions, and we finally got some red ruffled lemurs. So, the problem with animals like lemurs is, guess what? They're going to try to climb out as... That's what they're going to do. They're just, they're just going to climb out. So, I'm going to do with the lions first. Because honestly, I don't think I'm mentally prepared for dealing with lemurs. Well, this is the savanna exhibit. Let's just put the lions in here. <laughs> I think that would be fine, right? 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 Hmm. See, I don't know what to do now. I like this whole exhibit like this. Can we dig a hole and put them in the hole? I don't know. I don't know the best way to go about this. First off, let's unpause the game so sun can come out. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I could just do the same thing, but then our paths are going to look so weird. We're going to have so many paths that are like... They're going to go up and down and up and down. And we could just keep the whole elevated path thing going here. But I think it would be cool to put them in the ground. I don't know why. Okay, many guys think tickets are underpriced. Ho ho! Look at that! Now they're more pricey. Animals are doing overcrowding. Oh god, I'm tired of about to inbreed. Oh my god, look at all this stuff that's happening. I should keep the game paused. Never worry about anything ever again. Oh my god, does that mean we can get better staff rooms now? Can we get better staff rooms? Oh, look, they're themed staff rooms. I don't care about guest facilities. Large staff rooms. Huzzah. I think we're going to stick with the standard looking ones. Large zookeeper hut. Large staff room. Fino freaking Lee. I think the issue with this is now, uh,. We're going to have to redo our zones, which is going to absolutely suck. And I really don't want to. Because I don't think they'll they'll go into here if it's not in their zone. I don't know. Like, if this is open and... I don't know. I'm just going to put these things in and uh, any overflow can go into them. I do not care. Actually, another issue is we just don't have room for them anywhere. It's giant. If I put it too close to the path, they're going to complain about it. Oh, the building's ugly. Oh, even though we can't see the building because it's surrounded by building parts. If you cover it in scenery, guess what? We'll still see it. Because some reason, we have x-ray vision. And if you put a giant rock wall up here, we can see the buildings through the giant rock wall. 
No, I'm not angry. <laughs> Why do you ask? All right, I'm gonna put the, the things in a hole. No, that's not what I meant. I'm gonna lift the path up here. We're gonna keep this theme going of elevated paths. We're gonna, it's called Zooby Dooby Doo is now an elevated zoo. That's the theme we're going for, elevated. We can send the path down this way as well and have it, you know, against the side, but this is gonna be your prime viewing. All right, construction. Is the sun setting? God, I hope not. That better be rising. Ugh. What do I need? I need a wall. Ooh. Climbable, not watertight. <laughs> Yikes. Wait, not watertight? Does that mean our aquarium's gonna be a thing? Not watertight. Unless you can do something different with, like, putting the water right up to the edge, maybe that's it. Like, maybe you have to put the water first and... That's literally it. You have to put the water first and then... Huh. Is there any way I can combine all our water sources to look like a river? That'd be pretty cool. Anyway. Um, concrete. Watertight. Not climbable. Opaque. Great. Let's just put these right next to each other, because ask me how much I care. I don't. Now let's move that this way. You know what? Better yet, let's get the path first. That way I can judge this better. Good! Is it bright enough to where I can pause the game? I don't think it is. I just want it to be... I guess... See, I don't know. It's, I feel like the sun's weird. No, it's still m morning, that's what. No, is it? is it? Oh, it does have a timer on it. Okay. Good, our poison tree frogs have had babies. Which means they had five billion children. And now they're probably unhappy. All right. Pause the game. We got sun, everybody. Let's go. Let's start this exhibit. There's no way we're finishing it by the end of this episode. But the least we can do is start it. Curve there. Oh, no. The path. The path. Ooh, it's so close. I think I'm just going to rotate the path. Big exhibits. Why? They're just easier to deal with. It's so much easier just to start with a giant exhibit than it is to have to make an exhibit bigger. Good. Let's now fix the path, because, oh boy, that's going to make me vomit. I guess we can turn off angle snap and do this the old-fashioned way. Now turn it back on again. Okay. Turn it back on again. Good enough. You can kind of you can see it where it bends. It's fine. Don't don't you worry. It's fine. Okay, here's the issue now. Staff rooms. How am I going to work this one? Because we have a area over here, but that's kind of far away. I'm just going to throw another area in. I honestly don't care. We're rich. We can afford all these different areas. Um, how am I going to do this? Because when it comes to things like um, mechanics and whatnot, them getting to it is going to be an issue. I think I'm just going to put it right here. We can assign a mechanic to the area if I remember. I probably won't, but if we do. So we'll do that. We'll get a staff path going up this way. That's maybe not eight meters, geez. Completely unnecessary. Now! Good enough. Okay, now we need a door. Habitat. Barriers. Door. Slap that idiot right there. All right. And now we need some more path. 
Now we need, what do we need? We need facilities. We need a large staff room. We need a large zookeeper hut. I think that's it. What do we have over here? Zookeeper hut. Oh, and then two staff rooms. Yep, that's all we need. Good. We are going to hire some idiots right now. We'll hire a keeper. We'll hire a mechanic. Guess what? We're going to create a brand new work zone. It'll be called... Lions. Huzzah. It'll be that, that, and that. Sweet. It's done. Right? We're good? I don't have to press this plus sign? Are we solid? Lions, we are. Okay. We are going to put you on lions. Whoever that might be. There we go. Lions, you. Guess what, pal? Jennifer. You're also on lions. Hooray. Now we're going to get the lions into the pen. Zoo. No animal trading. Uh, you are being... I didn't even see it. Okay, three years old, six years old. I'm pretty sure they're old enough to make babies. We should probably get more vets. I haven't hired vets in a very long time. Hmm. They'll help with the research. Although, we really don't have much to research, because most of the animals I've taken care of. But I feel like we should probably get a few more. We're rich. We can afford it. <laughs> we're still making money. I don't know how much money a month we're making. Apparently 4000 Wait, no. 18 Total profit. No. Income's 28 Cash flow's 4 We're making a donations. We're rich. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. You. Move. If I release this thing to the wild, I get 954. I'm pretty sure I paid less for that. Wait, trade history. Oh, I moved them. Damn. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I have it all on video. I'm pretty sure I paid less for that line than that person would have gotten if they just released it to the wild. Which is pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. That's a lot. I wish I remembered how much I paid for him. Anyway, we're going to move you. No, that can't be it, because there's a trade option. I didn't pay 1000 No, I definitely got I, I, I got a steal of a deal. No, I don't want to trade you. I want to move you. Nice try. Let's press this button 500 times. The first one worked so well. I only had to press the button, like, once. I think. I don't know. Everything's a blur now when it comes to these menus being so awful. Hooray! There it goes. Okay. So now we have to wait for them to get to the zoo. It's going to be a long run to get there. We need to do something with these paths as well. <laughs> Remember when I used to put food and drink for the guests in? Realize how I've kind of stopped paying attention to that? Like, completely? I probably should get more. But then we're going to have to hire more vendors, which I honestly also do not want to do. Because they just literally eat up room. They're awful. Facility without power. Oh, whoops. Hold on, we need to build additional pylons here. We must construct additional pylons. Let me guess, they don't want to see these things. Oh, wait, yeah, we actually, hold on, we don't have to have them connecting. We just have to have them near. That's even easier. Good. Here they come, running down the final stretch. Guy in an orange and green jacket holding a broom, carrying a box, dodges the zookeeper. Passes the pink-haired lady with the blue shirt. As he's going, he's going, there's no catching up to him. Other lady, is that a lady? I can't tell. She's moving too fast. 
Lady with gray hair in a box and broom is far behind. There's no catching up to our leading guy, who is Francesco. Looks like he's going to take the win over whatever the hell your name is. Gray-haired lady. Ah. Ollie, no, it's now gray-haired lady. Hair dead. Gray hair. Well, well, damn it. Your now name is now damn it. Because I misclicked. Look, everybody. It's the lion. He looks like he's made out of marble. He's beautiful. That is thumbnail material right there. It's a statue. It's a living, breathing statue. Get this crap off my screen. I want to get a nice thumbnail photo. Look at him jump! Magic! Okay, what do they want? We gotta make this exhibit not suck. Let's see... I feel as... Oh, look at those stars. That's a that's a great animal. 9,000 appeal. Are you freaking my frack right now? That's amazing. Okay, exhibit-wise, they like grass short, grass long, rock... I want to do something crazy with different designs with the rock. Maybe we could put a trench in? Okay, here's the plan. We're going to have a trench. We need to have a pond in here as well, don't we? Hold on, I'm thinking. Maybe a... No. No. A raised kind of pond. This will be a flat area. A trench with a bridge over. A mountain over here. Something over here. Maybe we can have like a pond, a pond, flowing into a pond down in the trench. And ways out of the trench. Huh? It'd be like a climbing freaking... We're doing it. I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. So we're going to get a square. We're going to increase the size of said square. Whoops! I hope the walls are big enough. Never considered that. Okay, here goes the trench. I hope they like it. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this? Oops, that's a little too deep. So now we're gonna flat into surface? Hey, that's wrong. Now we're going to flat into found, nope, that's not right. Chisel. There we go. Smooth that out a bit. See, I think there is a way I can make it work better with the wall. I think we have to place the wall afterwards, which is kind of weird. Oh well, I'm not concerned about that. It's gonna look dumb against the walls, but hey, what are you gonna do? The chisel is working much better than I thought it would. Which is nice for a change. <laughs> Something's working the way I would imagine it to. Huzzah! I'm not used to that with this game. All right, we're gonna pull this out a little bit so it's not. We Ooh, actually, we could put a we could put their house down here. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we can we might be able to give them multiple multiple shelters. I forgot that they needed shelters in my initial plan of the thing. Oh, jeez, I got in this episode here. I've got big plans for these lions in their exhibit. I'm going nuts. It's gonna be nuts. I They'll probably hate it. Honestly, I expect them to. But it's gonna be great. Let me just finish smoothing that. Okay, I may make that a little bit deeper. I don't know. I may change the edges of it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel come next episode. I'm going to end this one here. Lions, everybody. Can't wait to finish this weird exhibit. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed. That helped a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time.